I'm feeling cute, man. I'm digging myself, man. We're gonna cut a little weight. Shit, I'm trying to cut 25 more pounds to 30 more, motherfuckers. What are you losing, though? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna cut a little body fat, sculpt the tits a little bit. Yeah, you know I mean, get some muscle, man. Can't even do much with this right now. This shit hurts. You know what I mean? Gotta practice on bending that bitch. Aisha Curry is a millionaire, uh, Stephen Curry's wife. Millionaire basketball player, uh, Star athlete, man. Really star athlete, but his wife with more male attention. And the truth is, man, she gained weight. Why ain't nobody bringing this shit up? Everybody beating around the bush like, man, man, girl, what you do? You got a husband and blah, blah, blah. Man, bitch, ain't fine no more. Yeah, she's still cute. I take that back. She's still cute. It's, big, it's cute big women out there. It's like, come on, you don't look appealing, baby. That's just all it really is. Your face is fatter and shit. So you want more male attention, maybe you should uh, be an Instagram model. Or you just like that attention. Or do something to get you that attention. Go back in the gym. Stay in the gym. Just live in the gym. Because she can't wait. Like, come on. I mean, I'm not saying big girls are not. It's sex. You're attractive. But come on. Lisa Curry went from here to lot to here. I didn't even say she went from here to here. And it's like. Now, I'm not mad at her for wanting to feel beautiful to the majority of men. You have to still understand that you are responsible. You need that more attention than Post a nitpick. You know what I mean? Nip slip. Helen is going to check it out. Who don't want to see what that titty look like? Like, I mean, I ain't shit, you know, like, that's real life, right? a lot of us, like, you know what I mean, we don't even admit it before, but your life, I ain't shit, man, I fuck on somebody's wife, then. Hey, that bad karma, man, I don't believe in marriage. When I get married, probably on some dumb shit, and I probably will tell her, like, it's stupid. In a situation like this, I'm not saying they even did it because of children or because of the career move or anything. Ain't no telling really why they even got married or why a lot of people do get married. Bitch, you say you love me, here's your signature. I ever went to a job and signed an application like, well, motherfucker, you're not getting fired because you're here now, bitch. There'll be more punishment than firing most motherfuckers. Like, then you saying I can never leave and go to another job where I say it's your minimum wage employee? Fuck that you. And a lot of y'all girls are just minimum wage as employees that's messing with billionaires. Bitch, you trying to cheat? And hey, what is your objective, motherfucker? And like, what are you trying? Are you trying to grow trust issues? Because you just accomplished it in one table talk. <laughs> and if Alicia Curry played that role in Steph Curry's life to help him shoot those threes, bitch, you gotta be your part. <laughs> Cause when you saying stuff like that, and that's how this motherfucker miss dunks. If he missing dunks now, you gotta shut the fuck up. Cause you breaking the contract. Or rich, a lot of people mention money about the situation, which money does matter. Get the fuck out of here, you saying, man. It's not just money, is it? Cause they was broke and she wasn't getting no attention. Hopefully she'll be worried about getting some money and not another fucking thing. You know what I mean? Hopefully she'll be working hand in hand. That's the shit we wanna see, you saying, guys? Hopefully y'all working hand in hand with your man so y'all can get to the next steps. 